Welcome back to our discussion of the Play Framework using Scala. Now that we have sessions in our app, we can return to a topic that we've kind of been ignoring a little bit. And that is the issue of CSRF, or the cross-site uh, sorry, cross-site request forgery. And this is a security vulnerability that websites can have, where through a little bit of social engineering, a hacker causes one of your users to click on a link and that link basically goes to your site or accesses your site in, in some way that causes, that makes a connection using the user's uh, access and causes them to, uh, to do something they wouldn't have wanted to do. Maybe it, it changes something in their, their user profile or whatnot that they weren't expecting to do that gives the hacker a certain level of access. Okay. CSRF uh, filters, there's a CSRF filter that's built into play that is intended to prevent this type of attack. Now, when we first ran into this, we, we had these post requests and we sent one and we got this unauthorized. Okay. Now, we dealt with it originally by putting this in our routes file, this plus no CSRF. Um, that worked at the time. It, it will stop you from getting that error message, but it's sloppy and it's a security hole because what that's actually doing is it's saying, you know what, you don't have, we're not gonna protect against CSRF for this route and we're not gonna protect against it for this route. It would be much better to protect against CSRF attacks and make it so that we can get past that filter. So how would we do that? So what I want to be able to do is I want our app to work even when we don't say that you know, no CSRF. In order for that to work, what we need to do is put a CSRF token of inside of our view, okay, that is submitting these things. So the forms that submit, they need to have some additional information inside of them that comes from play. Basically, play is going to generate this long uh, string that is you know somewhat random uh, that identifies a request as coming from this website and that may effectively prevents the CSRF because then not only does the attacker need to do some social engineering on the part of their user they have to know what the CSRF token is for the site uh, when the the user was was using it okay so so you're, you're making it harder for, for them to get through. Now, how can we do that? Well, Play has a little helper that will do this for us. And if we say helper.csrf.formField, I'm missing an M there, form field, that will add in to our form a CSRF token uh, and we'll see in just a second what that does let's first start off by trying this and oh ah, that doesn't work okay it can't find an HTTP request header here it turns out that the form field needs to have available a request header well, where did we get our request? Where have we had those? We've had them inside of our uh, actions. And here we had these requests, but we need one inside of our template here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a second argument list and I am going to add the request here. Request and it is a of type request header and that gives us the information that we need and just to see that if I compile this now okay right now so I could explicitly pass into the form field this request header but that's really not the Scala way of doing things the Scala way of doing things here is to make this request implicit okay 
And in fact, when the form field function is declared, it says that it likes to get request headers and it will take them implicitly. So if there's one sitting around that the user wants to use, this uh, is a feature of Scala that basically prevents you from having to pass a whole bunch of additional information. Now with that in place, our twirl template should compile, but it pushes the, the error back up because when we display the login page, that login page needs to have its request header. Well, the login page. Well, this was an action that didn't have a request yet. It needs the request. And in order for this to work nicely, it should also be implicit. And there we go. Now, I'm going to hit Control U here to look at the, the source for this. You can see in the source what got added. So for this app, it added a new input of type hidden, so it doesn't show up anywhere on the page. It says that it's the CSRF token, and there you go. That's there, the CSRF token. We have one of these in each of those. And theoretically, I can now log in okay, with protection from CSRF. Okay, so this is the, the cross-site request forgery is an attack that can be used against websites. We prevent it by putting these big tokens in there. Uh, and to add the tokens in play, we need to have a request header inside of our template. And we call helper.csrf.formField. That gets expanded out into this hidden input field that serves as the, the CSRF token so that when the post comes back, Play can see it and say, oh, this is a request from me. I know this is safe and it'll let it pass. Okay. We're going to wind up having these types of things basically in most of our, our pages over time. In fact, for that reason, most of the time when I add requests onto our actions, I will make them implicit requests. And that way they get implicitly passed through to the uh, view templates because that can be used in, in a variety of different ways. So hopefully that gives you a little idea of CSRF. You might want to go read up on it, but at the very least you know how to deal with CSRF in play and how to get play to protect from CSRF attacks.